Aloha, and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner, brought to you by Caldwell Banker Sakamoto Properties. Here we are again, Roy and Betty Sakamoto in the studio together. On a cold, rainy, windy day. Very cold, rainy, and windy day. I was showing property this morning and had to get towels to dry people off. Now, you think they're going to buy today? We're going to find out. They were really great and good sports about it, so life is good. If they're looking today, they probably are buyers. Good good point. Yeah. That's actually, so. I hadn't thought of it yeah. that way. <laughs> if they're looking today, I guess they're buyers. Yeah. We have Dr. Norm Esten calling in in a little bit, and he's going to fill us in on a lot of things re- relating to the coronavirus, testing, things that are going on, and his different thoughts on where we're at. So I think that'll be kind of exciting for us all and uh, what's going on now with vaccinations and give you a little bit of information. So, but we may start out with a tiny bit of real estate before we go into... Yeah, actually, well, you know, again, let's talk about... Uh, oh, you know what I really wanted? The line at, at the uh, Citizens Church. Oh, yes. Yeah. That um, this really is something that's for all of us to think about because it could be any of us at any time. And any of us that aren't in the line at the Citizens Church should feel very fortunate and, if at all possible, do our best to help because it's one of the churches in West Maui that's doing a whole lot for people and that are hungry or that need additional food, you know, for their families. And you can see the people that are lined up. You know, they've all got a nice car. They're there. They're okay. But getting through this as a family has got to be a family on regular jobs, on everything, and young, you know, two kids, three kids, whatever it is. It's a heartbreaker. And to be have to do that, my heart goes out to them. We've done our best to kind of keep remembering the different people that are making this food available, the Maui Food Bank. There's so many places that are well, doing something. Local churches, the Maui Food Bank, uh, Food Bank, Maui Food Bank would be a great organization to, to help out. Uh, we have, and I know many of you out there have also. Any of the local churches are doing things. At least I think the majority of them are. But, you know, again, I think, I, you know, we just all say a special prayer today. We're getting so close to things getting better and on this kind of miserable rainy day to think that a lot of our friends, people that we've worked at that are working in the stores and restaurants and all of the places that we all go are having to do that, that's really sad because they're all hardworking people. So let's maybe say a little prayer or give them all of our thoughts and energy in the airways for the moment. Yes, absolutely. And that's a good sign that more hotels are opening up, more restaurants are opening up, more shops. But still, there's a lot of help needed out there. There is a lot of help needed out there. So let's all remember and even remember some of the other things. You know, you've got people with children home. If there's anything that you can do to help a neighbor, maybe by picking up food for them or shopping, grocery shopping, maybe running over to watch their kids for a couple of hours while they get some shopping done, it's hard. I think people are really struggling in so many ways. They have more kids at home right now than usual, and I think kids are getting back to school. But again, I think people are really stuck and they need help. And if there's anything we can do for our neighbors, uh, someone that we work for to help with anything, let's all do it. Let's help one another. And for me, from where I stand, just thank heaven that, that we aren't the ones that have to be in the line. You know, So we should be helping other people, all of us. But lucky we live Maui because Maui mm-hmm. always helps support Maui. And uh, thank you, Maui. Thank you, Maui. And that is so the truth. You know, the people of Maui, I think, do their best to come together And it is one community. Not perfect, I'm sure, but I think that when you look around here, if you've ever needed something, you know, this is kind of a weird one to bring up, but I tripped over something in the shopping center at the Napili Market and, of course, face-planted in front of everybody. There was a lady there probably about the same age as I am, which is not very young, and she immediately came over, and I was bleeding. She didn't hesitate at all to just come you know, kind of helped me. I could get up okay. I was fine, as it turned out, more embarrassed than anything. But I'll never forget that day, and I'll never forget her. And I'd seen her many times, 
And it was just a special moment. We had never really talked to one another. But I think in Maui, people will never leave you down. I think if something happens, there's someone there that will help you. So let's all remember that. Yeah, we've said it before. We are a village, and we continue to be a village, and let's not lose that on Maui. No, let's find our way to keep it up. Yes, keep absolutely. it up. Did you bring some real estate stuff for today? Yeah, why don't we talk about, while we wait for oh. Norm's phone call, uh, what about this great property we looked at yesterday and we showed? This was really interesting yesterday. We actually went to Wailea. Now, Roy is really good about it. He knows Wailea. I kind of say, I don't go to Wailea. It's just too far. But there were some really wonderful people that we had met that wanted to look at property there. So Roy and I went down together, and so I did go to Wailea. But we saw some spectacular properties. One of them was is actually listed by another Caldwell banker age, agent, Megan Clare, and she is spectacular. She was so amazing. Her knowledge was phenomenal. Everything She knew everything about the property and all that, and her husband is a Lahaina Luna High School graduate, I think the same year my daughter graduated. We need to zero in on that one. But La- it was Lahaina Luna. <laughs> Lahaina Absolutely. Luna. It's always about <laughs> Lahaina Luna. Yeah. It, uh, so anyway, she was she was fabulous. I, I I hope that I have learned a little from that to maybe digest and have every piece of information. She just had it all on the tip of her tongue, and I think she was really fabulous. Megan Clare. So let's describe that property. It was um, well, four, it's, four it's bedrooms. A, Got me. Six baths, yeah. Six, four bedrooms, six bathrooms. It's an oceanfront subdivision, the only one actually in Wailea. The only it's oceanfront residential subdivision. The homes, there's 14 homes. This one is sitting kind of at the top, you know, so you're not right on the ocean. But the view of the ocean is absolutely the best. Superb. And Fantastic. there's a little clubhouse when you go down into the area. Oceanfront clubhouse. It's yeah. uh, in the Malahia Estates at uh, Wailea. Really, really spectacular. And it, so what is Megan's number to call? Her telephone number is right here, cell phone, Megan Clare, C-L-A-I-R, 808 Wait, I'm saying the wrong. No, that's it. 808-463-8485. And uh, she's someone, if you're looking for a property like that in Wailea, very, very knowledgeable for looking at anything. Uh, that one's listed at $10.8 million, And I know she knows the, the, the Kihei Wailea market totally. But this is one of the most impressive houses that I've seen it's spectacular. I, I really think great. that property is worth every penny that they're asking. So uh, call Megan. Too. Absolutely. Call Megan, and uh, I'm sure she'll be able to help you view this and quite the property. 463-8485 for Megan. Yeah, and we also showed uh, another property in Wailea. This is a single-family home in the Wailea Golf Estates at 192 Halau Place. It's listed by Riet Jenkins, also with Cobalt Banker. Uh, a real pro. She knows why Leia inside and out. Uh, Riet is uh, 870-4073 is her cell phone number. And 192 Halau is a three-bedroom, three-and-a-half baths. It's about 3,800 square feet. Um, really, really well done, well laid out. It fronts on the blue course at Wailea. It feels like it's surrounded by the blue course, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, the views are fantastic. Uh, lots of privacy, great uh, landscaping, uh, quite quite impressive. It has, it has you know, it, it just seems that it's a very updated house. Yes. You know, it just has everything very current, uh, spectacularly furnished. The Most of the majority of the furniture stays with it. Really, again, like you say, it's an impressive. It is. Extremely well done. And Riette did a fabulous job also. Right. Her phone number is 870-4073. So Riette Jenkins, and tell her you want to see 192 Halau Place. It's uh, listed as at 5.6, 5,600,000. Tell her you heard about it on the radio and yeah. that they were talking about her, and she will have no clue where that came from. 
Betty, She's going to know after today. Betty's Real Estate Corner. Absolutely. Betty's Real Estate Corner. Yeah. While we're down in that Wailea McKenna area, here's another uh, uh, great listing. It's at 3220 Pekai Way. It's uh, listed by John Lyle, uh, also with Coa Banker. John's uh, cell phone number, 283-8771. It's uh, four bedrooms, four baths. It's about uh, 3,400 square feet, and uh, uh, it's in uh, the Wailea Kai subdivision. So uh, call John, 283-8771. This is listed at 2685000 it's 3220, 3220 Pikai Way. Perfect. Looks like we now have Dr. Norman Eston on the phone to give us a little bit of information or a lot of information quickly in regard to what's <coughs> going on with the coronavirus, what it's going to take now to get people vaccinated, et cetera. Are you there, Norm? I am. Can you hear me? Absolutely. Aloha, and thank you so much for Aloha. calling to update Fantastic. all of us. Wait, things are going great from the vaccine point of view and the whole virus point of view. Uh, we've stabilized and even increasing uh, the amount of vaccinations we're given and we're decreasing the number of cases we're seeing uh, throughout the entire country and throughout the islands and uh, slowly on Maui as well. So this is all good news. Hey, where are we at uh, now, Norm? We've had from great success with the uh, vaccination program. We have uh, more vaccines arriving uh, of all three of the approved vaccines. They're coming into Honolulu and getting distributed to the islands. And as of tomorrow, our State Department of Health Director, Dr. Libby Char, says we're going to have even more uh, coming into the outer islands. So this is all good news. What do you think right now for but now? Is everybody able to get vaccinated now or is it still certain age groups, et cetera? Uh, that's a good question. Pretty much, I think within a week or two, we're going to be able to vaccinate everybody. We're focusing in on the, the high-risk people still. There's some elderly people, some people over 75 and over 70, who have not yet been vaccinated, so they have the first priority. We're pretty much done most of the folks in the nursing homes and congregate group living centers. We do have some outreach programs going specifically to elderly people who are homebound. Uh, we have a program going to the homeless. Uh, we have people uh, going to um, places where they are doing kidney dialysis. Uh, and so we're focusing in on both the at-risk populations as well as the general populations. And we're starting to open it up to people who are younger and younger. Pretty much, if you've been over 65 or over 60, it's been possible to get a vaccination now. It's gonna be easier this next week as we have more and more vaccinations available. Well, that, that's Remember, fabulous. Each time we give a vaccination, not only are we preventing somebody from getting sick, we're preventing anybody there around from getting sick. And so we're decreasing the spread of the illness. So. The only thing that's going to uh, allow us to control this pandemic uh, is a vaccination. And the faster we get people vaccinated, uh, the faster we're going to return to normal. Norm, now, the good you... news is there are a lot of people who were initially cautious about the vaccine saying, well, let's wait and see what's happened and what kind of side effects there are. We haven't seen any. I've personally supervised over 5,000 vaccinations through the Department of Health and Dr. Lauren Pang with the Vaccination Center at the Maui College uh, or the University of Hawaii Maui Campus, as it's correctly called now. And we've had no serious reactions. Um, occasionally after the second shot, uh, some people feel a little achy or like they do after a flu shot or so for a day, but it's temporary. And that actually means that people are responding and having a good reaction and we'll be protected. And we know the data now on the vaccines is fantastic. Uh, even after one shot, people are protected, sometimes 60% uh, and even 80% after about a month. And with the second shot for the two-dose programs for both the Moderna and the Pfizer, they get up to 95% protection, which is absolutely fantastic. This is probably, in reality, the best vaccine uh, collection ever made in the history of mankind. 
It's uh, amazingly a safe profile of effectiveness. It's been distributed very well. Um, the receptiveness over the first three months has been fantastic. Hey, and, hey Norm, we've got a question for you from here because sure. we've been talking about it and we've got to move along a little bit. Your Kanapali office, I know so many people are looking to be able to get shots in Kanapali, and I know you've been able to take over the small office that used to be a sunglass place. And when's that going to open, and how's that going to work for the people of West Maui, or from anywhere, but uh, particularly the West Maui folks? Well, we're trying to do a dedicate, dedicated vaccine uh, center there uh, on the weekends, and we're going to be doing that uh, this Saturday. Right now we're probably uh, full and, and subscribed with reservations for uh, this coming Saturday. But I'm going to give you a couple of websites for anybody in West Valley or the entire island where they can sign up and get a vaccine fairly quickly, certainly within the next couple of weeks. One is MauiHealth.org, M-A-U-I-H-E-A-L-T-H.org. And uh, that is through the hospital, uh, uh, and they will preferentially vaccinate Kaiser-insured members, but they will do anybody. And they will sign you up online on that site for an appointment at one of their vaccination centers. The other is uh, through MauiCounty.gov. That's M-A-U-I-C-O-U-N-T-Y.gov. And that's the Maui site. And that's the, does the Department of Health vaccination clinics like we did last yesterday at the college where we did 750 people. Now, we're also reaching out and we're doing some programs at work sites and hotel and restaurants. For instance, tomorrow we're actually going to the Andaz Hotel to vaccinate some employees. And then this is through the Department of Health. We're going to be able to do that at a number of other resort and uh, hotel sites uh, on both the south side and the west side in the coming couple of weeks. It'll probably take a couple of months to get everybody on the island vaccinated. But again, the faster we can get everybody vaccinated, the faster we return to normal. Norm, what about, and you kind of started in a way to say something before, but what about the people who are so hesitant, they're so afraid of vaccinations? What's your thought to them? Well, you know, they're, they're absolutely right in, in being cautious. I think uh, people are always cautious and concerned when there's a new medicine, a new treatment. And the question with the vaccine uh, is, because it got developed so quickly, were all the steps followed to make sure it's safe? Because we're, the people in medicine are concerned about safety just as anybody else is. And in fact, they were followed. Uh, they were just done a lot more rapidly. So in a, a lot of the steps were done at the same time as opposed to sequentially, instead of one after the other, after the other, after the other, with a vaccine taking normally 10 or 12 years to be produced, they were able to do all this simultaneously because of the number of people involved and the number of research centers involved. So they were able to create these very safe, very easy to administer, very effective vaccines very, very quickly. It's phenomenal in 10 to 12 months uh, how these top three vaccines are working very well. And there's a Pfizer, which is a two-shot vaccine. You need one, and then you need a, ideally another one about three weeks later. The Moderna, in which you get one, and then you get one anywhere between four weeks and ten weeks later. And then the Johnson & Johnson one, which just arrived in the islands and is not available in great numbers yet, but maybe, where you only need one shot. Uh, so Now, all these three are fantastic. There's a couple others on the market around the world that are probably not as effective. You may have seen that the AstraZeneca product that's in Europe doesn't work as well as these do. Nobody knows how the Chinese or the Russian product or the Indian product work. But the fact that we have three that are home runs is fantastic. And so the bottom line when somebody says, which one should I get, the answer is you should get whichever one you can as fast as you can. And the evidence for the people who have been hesitant to get one is fantastic. For instance, in September, we had about 64% of the population when we did studies who were say, saying, you know what, I'm going to wait a little bit and see how it goes. By the time it was December and we came out with it, they were down to 51%. In January, just a couple of months ago, 
nationwide, we had 38% that were hesitant. And now, uh, as of this month, we're down in the 20s, 28%. So we're dramatically approaching the, the point where almost everybody's going to want to get this vaccine. That's major, major one, norm. Their re- life can then return to normal. They'll be able to go to public <laughs> events. They'll be able to get on an airplane uh, and, and feel safe. No, is, we're going to we're kind of winding charge? down quickly right now. Is there a charge for this, Norm? There's no charge. The government has picked up the cost of the development of the administration, and uh, all the insurance carriers have bought into that. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Super. So pretty much in the not too distant future, everyone that wants to be vaccinated will be, and it'll be a blessing for each and every one of us. The more of us that do step up. Fortunately, we've we've been able to be vaccinated because we were older, but we're really happy and had no side effects. We've only got a couple of minutes left, Norm, so I think we've got as much information out. We'll repeat the the websites in a minute, but thank you so much for calling in. And thanks for all you do, Norm. Uh, Norm, you've done so much for for the community. Thank you, thank you. Well, thank you all for helping to spread the word. Uh, And uh, we're all looking forward to when we can uh, do these things safely with the people we love uh, outdoors and uh, in public. It'll be great. Absolutely. We're looking for hugs again, Norm. Talk to you you soon. Okay. Yeah, we all miss that. We we? all do. Yep. Aloha. Thanks, Norm. Aloha. Thank you. Thanks, Norm. So I guess we got a little bit through, I mean, we got a little sidetracked on that, but that's perfect. I can't believe we could jam that much information in, and I hope it helps everyone. Those two websites, I think, are really worth having, mauihealth.org, O-R-G, and mauicounty.gov, and you should be able to go to those and sign up. And And I think the more of us that do, the better. Oh, absolutely, and and no charge, so... uh you know, just... Uh, I'm glad you asked that, because I wasn't thinking about it right then. But th- that is amazing That's a, by that's a common question. Sure. It's a huge question. Yeah. And especially, again, you get back to families where have a number of people trying to get vaccinated. It adds up to a lot of money. So, uh, but let's... I, th- I say let's all get vaccinated, although we all know that there's people that for many reasons won't get vaccinated. But they say that if enough of us are vaccinated, then... Again, we cover all of us, and that's what it's all about on Maui. We take care of one another in every way that we can. Wouldn't it be nice to have everybody get back to normal again and we can uh. travel, mm-hmm. uh, see friends, relatives? It's uh, Go to Honolulu shopping. Yep. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been a strange world. and uh, It has been. Thank, thank goodness we're getting through this. And, uh, the, it as, all matters. As Dr. Norm mentioned, you know, the more of us that get vaccinated, the better it is the faster our economy will get back yeah. to normal. We have my, my do- we have his and hers kids, and my daughter, Julie Ahu Flynn uh, Sherlock now, is going to arrive here Sunday for the first time. I haven't seen her for way over a year, and I usually got to see her a lot, so I couldn't be any more excited. My daughter and granddaughter are both gonna be here for a week and hopefully we're gonna just do everything we can on Maui. We're so excited. And, of course, we'll be up at Lahaina Luna High School trying to check out what's going on. They have their Lahaina Luna face masks that they're traveling with. Yes, we all have those. It, uh, they've been the most fun. We've been wearing them. And we're back to Danny Couch with I Love Hawaii. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Call us, Roy, 870-7060, and I'm 7062. Aloha. Aloha. Danny Couch. Let's all give it a little something. Happiness and love everywhere. I